Hi guys, this is Kamaluddin from Creators Lab. Today I am giving a uh, brief uh, description about some of the basic elements which are known as active and passive elements. So let's start from this element called as resistor. This resistor which opposes the flow of current and is very useful for in many circuits and it can be categorized into so many ways which are um, very useful to oppose the flow of current actually this is the um, one thing which con supplies the constant current to a uh, required load and uh, this is my second is capacitor which uh, stores the charges and discharges at the at sudden time period these are my transistors which are very useful in many uh, applications which act as a switches in particular solution and uh, uh, it act as amplifier at certain uh, conditions this is my switches of different uh, types the sliding switch pushing switch and uh, this is also a pushing switch, uh, switch of uh, four terminals this of uh, switching uh, uh, switching of two terminals and the sliding switch of three terminals and this of six terminals this is my capacitor see here uh, if you want to change the uh, uh, one value from another value of this capacitor what we need to do we are replacing this capacitor right so uh, instead of this uh, we are using a variable capacitor which can vary from uh, according to the rated given on to that this is my diodes these are the um, high power diodes and uh, these are the low power diodes the small diodes uh, which are basically used to as a bridge circuits and the bigger diode which also used as a bridge circuit but uh, in more where uh, there is a more power there we are using this uh, uh, diodes and uh, this also a switch uh, which are rarely used in development boards in computers laptops something in uh, some of the major applications we are using this um, sliding switch this is my soldering machine soldering gun um, which solders a particular connection between the two elements or a terminals this is uh, a ladder which is very use, used to uh, stick this uh, two terminals using this uh, soldering machine and this is the paste very uh, which is very useful uh, in this uh, soldering soldering method why because uh, we we are going to solder uh, different uh, elements between the um, between any different elements so we are what we are doing is that just we are applying this paste to uh, connect that uh, two different elements this is my leds different types of leds this is a high power led 5 watt led and um, uh, this is a 4 mm led 5 mm led and uh, this is a 10 mm led and this is a powerful led which use uh, uh, 3 watts of uh, power uh, um, 3 watts of power so this uh, led is uh, rarely used in uh, our um, cell phones like uh, um, grand some samsung grand and some of the most of the cell phones we are using this uh, this type of leds which are uh, called as disk type of led as you know the light from light we are getting electricity so this uh, element called as ldr which is very useful to observe the light and use the potential and create the potential between the two terminals and um, these are my uh, IR transmitter and receivers so it uh, passes the light emits the light and it receives the lights and uh, which uh, gives uh, serial communication between these two uh, transmitter and a receiver so it's, um, it's a, it has a one um, uh, backdrop which uh, if uh, one obstacle in between these two transmitter receiver um, has come then there is no supply of um, data from this transmitter to receiver to avoid this type of uh, backdraw and disadvantages from this IR transmitter and receiver, we are going for a high qualified um, uh, transmitter and receiver that called as a RF transmitter and receiver. So RF um, RF gives uh, the names of radio frequency which uh, chooses a particular band of frequency which called it as a radio frequency. So this is my transmitter and this is my receiver. And this is my uh, one type of a transistor of high power. This is my IC, IC in the sense of integrated circuit. 
so instead of using all the elements this uh, total elements are come um, uh, fabricated into one chip called it as uh, ic integrated circuit this is my regulator and um, transistor also it act as a transistor and this is my um, ic's of uh, 8 pin dip 14 pin dip and 18 pin dip and uh, these are my based uh, um, basis of for this ic so actually the basis uh, basis uh, for this ic we are using to avoid um, suppose uh, we have designed a big circuit you uh, instead uh, when ic has um, damaged then what we are doing is that uh, we are just replacing it instead of uh, soldering onto this um, directly onto the board this is my glue gun which uh, um, emits uh, which emits a glue by connecting this wire to the uh, power supply so this is very useful uh, uh, to um, disable to disavailable this visible of uh, some of the elements and some of the connections uh, this paste can be throwable on it and this is called as a piezoelectric buzz which is used um, in the guitar and this is a cube uh, cube which uh, which act as also a trans transformer this is my variable resistor it's called as a preset and it's called as a potentiometer instead of this uh, resistors we are using uh, this uh, potentiometers and uh, presets uh, to vary the resistance between the two values and uh, um, moreover this uh, is a um, capacitor of um, other kind uh, called it as a ceramic capacitor and uh, this uh, capacitors are electrolytic capacitor and this is my seven segment display instead of uh, seven segment display which is very useful to count from the 0 to uh, 9 and uh, as well as uh, A, B, C, D instead we are using this so casually uh, to represent from 0 to 16 uh, which um, which gives uh, primary data in most of the computers we are using this um, type of LEDs uh, uh, 7 second display of made up of LEDs and this is my um, dip of uh, for, um, phone connector which is used uh, to transmit the data from uh, to, to true wide and this is my relay which is very useful to interface between a small circuit or uh, in the sense of smaller signals so to uh, interface with a large uh, potentiometer large potential of uh, 230 volts which are using the um, home appliances this is my wide uh, two wires are there here this is one wire call it as a multi core wire and a single core wire which are this uh, single core wire very used um, uh, in the breadboards to verify the connection between the circuits and uh, a multi core wire we are using to solder between the two connections and this is called a buzzer instead of this um, speaker this buzzer is different from the speaker actually the uh, similarities are same but uh, from this uh, buzzer we are getting only the single tone at um, particular frequency instead uh, we are not going for speaker this is my uh, multi core wire this is my single core wire as you have seen just before this is my uh, PCB and quoted PCB and uh, this is IC called it uh, uh, for 40 pins it's called as microcontroller it's a breadboard actually see here if you want to design any circuit the breadboard is a basic thing which is um, uh, which we want, want to know see here this total breadboard are divided into three sections this is upper session bottom session and intermediate session this top and bottom we can assign as a, a positive supply and the negative supply between them this IC is uh, shown here is connected with the different uh, pins see here uh, let us discuss uh, about the connections of this breadboard this five what you are seeing is the five holes are connected in a series it uh, does not attach it with a um, corresponding uh, corresponding parallel um, line so the, it's a, it look like as a parallel lines uh, um, which are connected uh, together and this is a board series um, serial board so it is connected from here from one point to the uh, uh, from one point to the fifth point of this um, LED one point to the fifth point of this um, uh, breadboard so it is connected in the series and the upper part and the downer part uh, this is a low, lower part and upper part 
see if you're connecting this totally um, you can assign anything else uh, just um, uh, my brief uh, assumption is that uh, I'm assigning this upper part upper layer as a positive supply and the lower layer as a negative supply um, so instead you can uh, connect this uh, breadboard so you uh, have you seen this knobs if you can if you have this knobs you can connect one more more breadboard if you have the major project with you thank you guys uh, for giving me a uh, best opportunity to explain uh, about this all uh, basic elements uh, uh, thank you very much